This lead code question is called longest substring without repeating characters. It says given a string, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So for the first example, the string is ABC, ABC, BB, and the output is three because the longest substring is ABC. For example two, the string is BBBBB and the output is one because the longest substring is just the letter B. And finally, the string is PWWKEW and the output is three because the longest substring is WKE. And what they're saying down here is that the answer is not PWKE because that's not a substring, that's a subsequence. For it to be a substring, the letters would have to be consecutive. All right, and the way I'll do this is using the sliding window technique. It'll be broken up into three different parts. The first part is a general overview of the solution. The second part is more in depth how we're actually gonna do it. And the third part is where we code it out. All right, so here's the quick overview of how we're gonna solve this problem. Going from left to right, we're gonna see if a substring has any duplicates in it. If it doesn't have any duplicates in it, we're going to expand it by including the character to the right. Now that we have a new substring, we're gonna see if that has any duplicates in it. If it does, we need to reset this new substring to a substring without any duplicates. And the way to do that is we're gonna eliminate letters starting from the left side of it until we get a substring that does not have any duplicates. And now that we have a substring with no duplicates, we can then expand it again to see if that new substring has any duplicates. And we'll just keep repeating that until we've hit the end of the string. All right, so what does that look like? Right now we're gonna say that our substring is just the letter A, which is the letter that's furthest to the left. So at this point, our substring has a length of one, which is longer than the previous substring, which didn't exist. So now our new longest substring would be one. So now we expand the substring by one. Does this substring have any duplicates? No, it doesn't. Is this new substring longer than our previous substring? Well, yes it is because two is greater than one. So now we'll save its length as two. We'll do it again. Expand it by one. Does this new substring have any duplicates? No, it doesn't. Is this new substring longer than our previous longest substring? Yes, it is. So we'll just change it to three. All right, expand it by one. Does this new substring have any duplicates? Yes, it does. So now we need to contract this substring to the point where it only has unique characters. And only then can we expand it to the right to see if that new substring will have any duplicates. So to contract it, we eliminate the letter that's furthest to the left. All right, so now our new substring is BCB. Does that have any duplicates? Yes, it does. So we need to contract it again. All right, so our new substring is CB. Does that have any duplicates? No, it doesn't. So now it's safe to expand it to the right in search of a new longest substring. Does this new substring have any duplicates? Yes, it does. So we need to contract it to the point where there are none. BB still has duplicates, so we need to keep contracting it. Now that we have a substring with no duplicates, we're free to expand it by one. Does this new substring have any duplicates? No, it doesn't. But now that we've expanded it, we need to check to see if it's longer than our longest previous substring. This one has a length of two and the previous had a length of three, so we just keep going. Let's expand it by one. Does this new substring have any duplicates? No, it doesn't. Is it longer than our previous longest substring? No, they're the same length, so we just keep going. Now our substring is BCAD. Does that have any duplicates? No, it doesn't. Is it longer than our longest substring? 
Yes, it is. This has a length of 4, and our previous longest had a length of 3. So now the longest officially has a length of 4. All right, so now we'll show you the solution in more detail and just a heads up that we've changed the example slightly. All right, so what we need are two pointers. The right pointer will be the furthest right letter in the substring and will be used to expand the substring. And the left pointer will be the furthest left letter in the substring and will be used to contract the substring. And remember how we mentioned before that we need to check whether or not the substring has any duplicates? The way we do that is using a set. And a set is the perfect data structure because only unique values can be in a set. So all you have to do is add a value to a set. And if you try to add the same value to the set again, it won't allow it to be added. All right, so what we need to do is we need to check whether the letter at the right pointer exists in the set. If it doesn't, we just add it to the set. Is the letter A in the set? It's not, so we add the letter A to it. And now that we officially have a substring which starts at A and ends at A, we need to check whether it's longer than our previously longer substring. We didn't have a longest substring before, so now our longest substring just has the letter A in it, so it has a length of 1. So now we move our right pointer over 1, and our potential new substring is the letters A and B. Is the letter B in our set yet? No, it's not, so we can just add it here. So now AB is our new substring. AB has a length of 2, and the longest substring we had before was 1, so now AB is going to become the longest substring, so we'll just update the longest to say 2. Alright, so now let's expand it by 1 again. So the new substring is theoretically ABC, but does ABC have any duplicates? No, it doesn't. So we'll make ABC our new substring by adding the letter at the right pointer to the set. Is this new substring longer than the longest substring we had before? Yes, it is, because it's a length of 3. So we'll just update this to be 3. Let's do it again. Expand it by 1. Theoretically, our new substring is ABCA. But does ABCA now have any duplicates? Yes, it does. So now we have to contract it to the point where it has no duplicates so that we can continue. So we need to move our left pointer up 1 and then delete the letter from the set that the left pointer was previously pointing to, which is the letter A. Now, theoretically, our substring is BCA. Does BCA have any duplicates? We find out by checking if the letter A, which is what the right pointer is pointing to, is in the set. No, it's not. So we just add that to the set. And now since BCA is officially our new substring, we compare it to the length of our previous longest substring. This new substring has a length of 3. The longest substring we had before was also 3, so we don't need to update it. So now again, we expand it by 1. Does BCAB have any duplicates? We find out by looking in the set whether the letter B is in the set, and yes it is. So now we need to contract this set to the point where there's no duplicates. So we move this up by 1, and now we have to remove the letter that it was pointing to from the set. So would CAB have any duplicates? We check to see if the letter B is in the set. No, it's not. So we add it. And now that we have a new substring, CAB, we see if it's longer than our previous longest substring. They're the same length, so we just continue. Expand it by 1. Does this have duplicates? Yes, it does. So we need to move this up by 1. We need to remove the letter that it was pointing to from the set. Would ABC have any duplicates? No, it wouldn't. So we add the letter C to the set. We check the length of this against our previous longest substring. They're the same, so we just continue. Move this up by 1. 
would this have any duplicates? Yes, it would. So we need to contract the substring until there are no duplicates. The left pointer was pointing at the letter A, so we remove it from the set. Would BCB have any duplicates? Yes, it would. So we again need to move the left pointer up. And it was pointing at the letter B, so we remove that from the set. Would CB have any duplicates? No, it wouldn't. So we add the letter B to the set. And we compare the length of our new substring, which is 2, to our previous one, which was 3. It's less, so we don't update the value. We increase the right pointer by 1. Would CBB have any duplicates? Yes, it would. So we move the left pointer up by 1 to contract the substring. We remove the letter it was pointing to. Would BB have any duplicates? Yes, it would. So we again need to contract this substring by moving the left pointer up by 1 and removing the letter it was pointing to in the set. So now it checks whether the letter the right pointer is on is in the set and it's not, so it's added to the set. So now that this is officially the new substring, it checks the length of it against the longest previous substring, and it's not greater than it, so the right pointer is incremented. And now we've gone past the last letter of the string, so we're done. The longest substring has a length of 3. Alright, let's get to the code. What lead code has given us is a function called length of longest substring, which accepts a parameter s and s is just the string that we want to find the longest substring of. And if we look to the left, I'm using a much shorter string this time because I think we get it by now. All right, so like we said before, we're going to need a new set. So we'll say let set equal a new set. And we need a left and right pointer. So let left equal 0 and let right equal 0. And we also need to keep track of the maximum substring length. So we'll say let max substring length equal zero. All right, so now we just need to iterate over every letter in the string and stop when we've gotten past the end. So we'll say while the right pointer is less than the length of the string So at this point, it's going to look like this. This is our left pointer, and this is our right pointer. And our longest substring so far is 0. And we also have an empty set at this point. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check whether the set has the letter that the right pointer is on. So we'll say if the set doesn't have that letter, then we'll add that letter to the set. So set.add the character that the right pointer is on. The right pointer is on the letter A, which the set does not have, so we'll just add it to the set. So now that the letter A is officially our new substring, we need to check whether it's the longest substring that we've seen so far. So we'll say max substring length equals the maximum of our current maximum. So max substring length again, or the size of the new set. So which one's longer? The current maximum, which is 0, or the size of the new substring, which is 1? It's 1. So that would update this variable to 1. All right, and then we just have to increase the size of our substring. So we'll move the right pointer up 1. All right, so the while loop's going to run again. Is the letter B in our set? No, it's not, so it's added here. 
the substring AB is longer than our previous one. So long is going to be updated to two. And then the pointer is going to be increased by one. If the new substring were ABC, would that have any duplicates? No, it wouldn't. So then we just add the letter C to the set. ABC is officially now our substring. Is it longer than what was previously our longest substring? It has a length of three and the previous had a length of two. So it'll update that. We increment the right pointer by one. Would ABCA have any duplicates? Yes, it would. So we need an else statement. We'll say else, and we have to delete the letter that the left pointer is on. And we do that by saying set dot delete s dot character at left. So that gets deleted. And then we have to increase our left pointer by one. And in the code, that would look like this, left plus plus. All right, then it runs again and says, would BCA have any duplicates? It checks the set. The set does not have the letter A, so it adds it. Our new substring is officially BCA. That has a length of three, which is the same length as our previous longest substring. So nothing gets updated. Then the right pointer is incremented by one, which puts us one over the length of the string, so then we break out of the while loop. And at this point, all we have to do is return the max substring length. All right, that should be it. Let's see how we did. One small error, we forgot to put the S, so it's S dot character at. Run it again. All right. The answer was accepted, let's submit. All right, so our answer was faster than about 92% of other JavaScript submissions. As usual, the code and written explanation are linked down below. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. See you next time.